Hey there, this is Sage Intuitive, and we're going to get some overall energies for love for the sign of Aries. So we're going to see what's going on in the love life of Aries. So either you're an Aries, your person is an Aries, or you have Aries in your chart. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements for additional messages. If this is not your reading, check some of those other placements. Could be messages there. So let's see what's the overall energy in love for Aries. Okay. All right, Aries. I'm just going to take them all. Let's see what's going on. Some of you guys are in a process of or some type of separation from someone. Someone from a past life. Twin flame soulmate type of energy. You're learning to accept that, you know, everything happens for a reason when it comes to this love um, situation with this person that um, could be a past person you were dealing with. Maybe this was just a intimacy only type of situation. So that is that could be why you are separated because you came to that realization that this is only about intimacy. So some for some of you, you accepted that and kept it moving. Um, but definitely, yeah, definitely dealing with a person from the past, someone you've dealt with in the past who has, um, that you just came, came to some clarity about, about them. So you guys are now separated. Aries, there you go. There you are. Very guarded energy here when it comes to love <laughs> with someone from a past life, someone from the past. Very guarded against them. This person sees you as their their star. They see you as a person that's very healing. You could be a um, light worker. You can have some um, psychic abilities. You could be a card reader. Into metaphysical divination type of things. This person knows that about you. They're intrigued by that when it comes to you. But you guys are standing your ground. This person is in their head when it comes to you. Could be having nightmares. They could be dreaming about you. I feel guilt and remorse for them. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, not necessarily. But I feel that this person... This person owes you some type of apology for how they treated you. Let's see what they want from you. What is it that they want from you? They want to offer you some love, but they also want to offer you passion. And they want you to kind of forget about um, the things of the past as well. Because they feel like they've um, passed that. You guys have planted seeds together. So it feels like they feel like you have a foundation together. They want to give you their cup of love. But they also want to, want to give you that passion as well. Um, they have very fiery energy when it comes to you. They definitely want you to know that they completed like this cycle. Or they've changed in some way. And they're choosing to come towards you like that's what path they want to take they want to take a path back to you now that's if they yeah offering offering you their cup of love that's if you accept it you may not want to even accept this situation because i have under the bottom of the deck the hey man really trying to you know like getting someone who's gotten some kind of perspective here this person could be married um, but they could they have some kind of perspective about how they were doing doing things, their traditional thoughts when it came around, how they were operating, how they were moving. I don't think 
I think some of you guys are like done with the situation because there were too many secrets. This person was fearful, um, could have not been honest, could be dealing with the Pisces as well, could be dealing with the Taurus. So some of, some of you may not even um, want to be bothered because you're trying to just be like, nah, I'm cutting this out. Luck is on your side when it comes to a new beginning after you walked away from this situation. This has brought you burdens and that is what's going to, you know, those burdens are going to be released and that's what's going to bring you your um, Four of Wands energy. Just kind of seeing what's on the bottom of the deck because usually the bottom of the deck tells an uh, entirely other piece of the story. So luck is on your side right now when it comes to having a new uh, having a new um, beginning in love, taking a leap of faith in love. There, um, yeah, there has been someone who walked away. Could have been you. You walked away because this was all a burden. But in another story, it could be that someone is walking away from a burdensome marriage as well, and you're gonna get some clarity about that. That's gonna come to light um very soon you're gonna find out about a marriage that has ended all right so what's going on aries in love aries in love and if it's not a marriage take it as it resonates it could be just a relationship there's a relationship that's ended this person wants saying that you've healed enough so you need to unblock them <laughs> So this person really wants to talk to you. I feel like many of you like told them to leave you alone. Oh my God, divorce. <laughs> so I just said it could be a marriage that ended divorce. And I said someone owes someone an apology. So they know that they owe you a freaking apology. You abandoned this person or they could have abandoned you, but they knew that you deserve more. But then they're saying, well, you're still my destiny. I know you deserve more, but you're still my destiny. They're afraid to talk to you. Um, we said that addicted to you sexually. We said that some of these people were, you know, was just strict, strictly uh, intimacy type of thing. But you let them go. <laughs> Nobody trying to come see you, Otis. You let them go. You're like, no, nah, I don't have time for this. So I feel like Aries, that's why you walked away because maybe you knew that you don't have time um, for that. They abuse your, your loyalty to them. Because regardless of the type of situation this was, you were still um, loyal to them. They said they weren't ready for you then, then but they're working on it now. Anything else in love in this situation for Aries, folks? Okay. Aries. Okay, Aries. It says, connect with me in the stars tonight. So this person could be sit speaking to you telepathically. Because it's saying that my, my silence is my way of coping. So they kind of like speak to you telepathically because they're not saying anything to you. They're not calling you or talking to you specifically. So it's like they're trying to send messages to you telepathically. What else is going on with Aries and whomever this person is that's trying to connect with Aries? They want you to stop doubting this connection. They're saying that when they when they deceived you, that was their fall for from grace. So they they still they wonder how you can still love them. Some of them know that you you know some of them know you still love them. You've been waiting for them, even though they did something terrible or they were in a relationship with someone else, because it doesn't have to be marriage. Even though we saw marriage, that could just be that they were in some type of relationship and they know that you were waiting for them. Um, and then they're just saying that they can't even explain what they mean um, 
And even if they could, they're not sure that you'll understand why they were there. So then that's why they're mute. That's why they're not talking um, when it comes to this situation. So that is what I have for you, Aries. Um, hopefully that give you some, gives you some clarity about what's going on in your love life, um, person that you're dealing with. Um, maybe this is saying why they've been quiet. Um, you don't know that they are in the process of either getting a divorce or finishing a relationship. And they're afraid to even come towards you right now. So that's what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I am available for private readings. Contact information will be in the description and in a pen post. Um, I hope you guys stay safe. I'll see you soon.